The greatest barrier I've had to overcome in my career. It's the scariest thing that I've ever looked at, and that's my confidence. Yeah. I'm not completely void of it. Um, but uh, what, uh, when I look back on the moments that I've struggled the most, it's been where I've let my confidence droop. What I had going for me is I'm a hard worker. You tell me I can't do something, I'm gonna prove to you that I can. Determination, that, that, that uh, pays a lot of the bill and, um, and really helps you overcome fears or, uh, for at least uh, a number of people I know. What did I want to be when I grew up? Well, I think like all kids, when you uh, look up in the stars and you see the infinity of space, you think you want to be an astronaut. Uh, but then also you got pets and you want to become a veterinarian and you see uh, heroes like firemen come out and save the day, you want to be one of those two. But uh, it probably wasn't until I was about 16 years old when I got really uh, serious about what I wanted to be. And it was uh, a little bit of research. I discovered I wanted to become an astronaut. You know, when I was a kid in high school, I was really fascinated by science. I was fascinated, I, to say I was fascinated, really, honestly. There were these questions out there like, why is the sky blue? Why does water boil? And I, I was a kid with just a lot of questions and no answers. And uh, was that curiosity that I was, it was satiated, was, was quenched by science, and namely chemistry. I think that's why I gravitated towards chemistry, because it, went, it answered the questions that I had uh, my whole life. I uh, focused on an area of chemistry that really fascinated me. It had nothing really to do with uh, space or being an astronaut, but it was something that really motivated me and uh, turned out to be pretty successful at it. And I think that's 100% because I really enjoyed it. I had some struggles in college with math, and uh, those really were a roadblock to succeeding in chemistry. I understood chemistry fine. I mean, I. I could picture molecules and electrons zooming around a nucleus and all that kind of good stuff. But I, in order to keep going further in chemistry, which was my passion, I had to prove a, a level of competency in math that I just wasn't comfortable with. And why didn't I feel comfortable with math? Because math was this abstract thing that um, was something you did on paper, but it, it did, just didn't have any application in the outside world, according to Tracy Caldwell. And uh, what, what, what started to make a difference to me in math and why I thought I could conquer it was the day that I, I was learning a topic in, in math, in calculus, and it made no sense to me. It was an abstract thing. And then in that same semester, I was taking a class in chemistry, in physical chemistry, and there's actually math, believe it or not, that describes the motion of electron around the nucleus of an atom. Go figure. I didn't, I, I wasn't even prepared for that. But it got my attention, why? Because I loved chemistry. And, and here was chemistry using math to help me understand chemistry better. So what I learned from that was that, you know, that, that math did have an application, it was chemistry. And, and I could get really excited about something that scares me if I can appreciate I can make a connection to it, to something that I really enjoy. Um, and it, uh, overcoming that, that, that fear of math, knowing that, knowing that, yes, indeed, I can understand math. I've got to humble myself and ask questions. I've got to uh, work hard and do extra problems, uh, you know, when I don't feel like it or I'm scared. And I just got to go for it because it's, if it's an obstacle to get to what I want, it's going to still be there. Uh, whether I want it to be or not and it's amazing how much you can grow when you decide you're just going to conquer that thing and not let that thing conquer you so I'm really glad that I got over math. If I had to give some advice just based on, on my own life and, and uh, what put me on the right path, that's to know yourself. Uh, you know, you've, you've heard people say dream big or follow your heart but know yourself. 
and, and put some stock in the things that you enjoy doing. Because it's, it's when you enjoy what you're doing that it's going to bring out the best in you. And that's what we want. That's what you want. I'm Tracy Caldwell Dyson, and I work at the NASA Johnson Space Center.